Welcome to this brief video where I will be demonstrating the ArcGIS for AutoCAD Calculate Field bonus tool. This command is one of a growing list of useful samples assembled in a collection of bonus tools free for download on ArcGIS Online. In this video, I will be demonstrating these tools that are designed to work with Esri's free ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin to AutoCAD. The plugin that provides best practice interoperability between AutoCAD and Esri's ArcGIS platform. In this session, I will perform simple field calculations using the bonus tool. I will modify multiple feature attributes using the standard ArcGIS for AutoCAD attribute editing dialog box and discuss when you might use it rather than the AFA calculate field command. I will discuss the use of AutoLisp expressions with the Calculate Field tool to make complex field manipulations. And finally, I'll discuss some advanced uses that do not necessarily modify fields at all, but rather use the attribute fields for each feature to perform conditional editing tasks. Let's get started. The input to this command includes the name of the field you want to update and an AutoLisp expression that is evaluated to update the value of that field for each currently selected feature. I thought it would be useful to give a basic review of AutoLisp expressions and how they have been extended using this bonus tool. A string can be a valid AutoLisp expression. So can a single number. Depending on the context, the number or the string can be a symbol representing some variable, and at other times it can be a literal value. With this tool, loan strings should be entered without quotes, but literal strings in a larger AutoLisp expression within parentheses should include the double quote syntax as per standard AutoLisp. An AutoLisp function is also a valid AutoLisp expression. AutoLisp functions are enclosed in parentheses. The first element in the function is the function's identifying symbol or name. In this case, the plus symbol denotes the standard AutoLisp add operator. Following the functional name is zero or more parameters. In this case, two expressions are being added together. Each item is evaluated from the inside of the parentheses out, and then the parameters are processed by the function. In this case, the two parameters are evaluated as numbers and then added together. The entire AutoLisp expression evaluates to the single value of the number three. In another example, again, working from the insides of the parentheses out, the integer to ASCII function converts the number three to a string character three. The string concatenation function takes the string hello and the character number three and returns the combined string hello three. The calculate field bonus tool will evaluate a single autolisp expression that I enter. The expression can be composed of complex nested functions. In addition to this, it uses two special non autolisp expressions that have special meaning to the command. The square brackets in my autolisp expression string are replaced by the command with the value of the ArcGIS features field value for each feature and curly brackets are replaced in the AutoLisp expression string with an AutoCAD entity property of the current feature. These two special expressions allow me to perform simple or very complex attribute editing operations uniquely for each ArcGIS feature. For example, here is an expression that includes references to the field values with a conditional statement that will return a different value depending on each feature's current field values. I'll walk through an example of the expression string being evaluated. I can show how the field I have chosen to update will be assigned its updated value. Each feature will be processed individually. The first expression that's going to be evaluated is the special square brackets reference to the name field attribute value for this feature. Let's say it evaluates to the empty string value. Next to be evaluated is the literal string new, which is simply evaluated as the string new. The conditional function equals has two parameters. The first is a literal string, which is evaluated as the empty string, and the square bracket reference again to the feature's named field, which is again evaluated as the empty string for this current feature. The equals comparison between the two parameters here evaluates to true. The conditional statement if will return the first parameter of the literal string if its condition is true, or the second value if the condition is false. We see the condition for this feature has evaluated to true. So our field will be updated with the literal string new in this case. Hypothetically, stepping through the same logic for the next feature, 
Let's say the existing name attribute evaluates to the value of Joshua. Our logic then returns the conditional statement based on the false case, which returns the string Joshua, which is the feature's current value for that field. I am adding a new field to this feature class, and I want to populate its value for all the existing features. But I want the value to be different depending on whether this piece of equipment is 400 watts versus if it is any other value. I can first select all the features where the watts equal 400. And use the attribute dialog to make this simple edit. Now with all the 400 watt devices selected, I can simply enter the new value. If I take a look at the information now inside the table viewer, I see that it's updated just for those devices that are 400 watts. Here I'll update all the features with one or the other values depending on if it's a 400 watt device or not. My Autolisp expression is going to update the manufacturer's field to be Zap Inc if the device is a 400 watt device, or else it will update the field with Spark Tech if it's any other value. Invoking the command and then supplying the Lisp routine makes all of my edits at one time. Here I'm adding a new attribute field called Last Editor. First, I'll update my last editor value using the Calculate Field tool. I see in the table viewer that my changes were made to each of the features. Here I'll do the same thing using the Attribute dialog. And again, I see my changes updated here in the table viewer. When calculating values from other field values or manipulating entity properties, it's much easier to use the Calculate Field tool. Now let's take a look at a more advanced use of the Calculate Field tool that performs an editing task without updating a field. In this example, I will add hatches to zoning polygons in such a way that they are created on the correct layer and colored according to the feature's subtype value. I do that with this single autolist statement that will change the layer based on the subtype value, which is a field in the feature class, and then hatch the polygon feature with the appropriate bilayer color. My expression calculates the layer name and invokes AutoCAD commands as part of my conditional autolist statement. My autolist statement will be processed for each feature, but I have no intention of updating the field that I've specified when I invoke the command. To ensure that the field is not actually updated, the last statement of my Autolisp expression is the square bracket name of the field, which is the field's current value for each feature. The Lisp routine is still processed to create hatches for each zoning feature with the correct color and layer. To make the resultant hatches look nicer, I will make each hatch entity transparent. I'll use another ArcGIS for AutoCAD bonus tool to label the polygons with text to finish my map. Be sure to consult the included documentation for syntax and other useful ideas.